Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm Kyle with Keller Williams Vestavia, and today we're going to do a quick Jefferson County real estate market update. We're going to look at things like homes sold, active listings, pending sales, price trends, and we're going to do all that to see where the market stands today and hopefully be able to forecast where we're heading going into next month. So with all that said, let's just jump right into it. All right, first let's look at new listings. As you can see, they're down about 17% year over year and trending down. Now it's typical to see a drop in listings this time of year. The way you can think of this is, you know, kids are back in school, the holidays are right around the corner. So those who are looking to move during this time typically are downsizers or people who have to move because maybe they've changed jobs or something like that. Most people plan on moving after the new year into the spring and summer months. Personally, I think if you're looking to list at the beginning of the year, I don't agree with waiting. I would say now is a better time because there's less competition on the market and you have a really good chance for your home to stand out during these fall and winter months. But looking at the chart, nothing too abnormal here. The same story that's been told over and over. This is an inventory issue. Inventory is low and continuing to be low. Next, pending sales are down 9.5% year over year. Again, this is an inventory story. As we saw in the last chart, listings are trending down, which is affect number of homes that are pending. And if we stay on trend, this should continue to move lower going into next month. Now on this chart, you'll see the number of homes with price drops and as you can see it's typical to see a spike this time of year but cyclical timing paired with higher rates have caused this chart to move much higher over last year and this is where you have those who think that maybe there's tough times ahead for the housing market they think the evidence lies within this chart they would argue if demand is as high as we think it is then prices shouldn't be dropping and that's a fair argument but personally i see this as seasonality and an issue where sellers believe their home is worth what it was worth two years ago. And in this rate environment, that's just not the case. Purchasing power has come down significantly. Because you'll see on the next two charts, first being days on market, slightly higher than last year, and list to sale ratio, slightly down at 98%. This tells me that this is an issue of people not pricing their home correctly at the beginning, causing it to sit on the market for longer than we're accustomed to, causing these price drops. But I will agree that this is something that needs to be monitored going forward. So what conclusions can we draw from this data? As we enter the fall market in Birmingham, buyers are taking a step back, influenced by seasonality, market fatigue, and slightly higher interest rates. And sellers need to be more realistic with their pricing, considering days on market and the negotiating power that buyers now have. The market remains stable, but understanding these nuances will be key in making informed decisions. So be sure to comment your predictions of the market going forward. And if you're looking to buy or sell in the Birmingham area, be sure to reach out to me. All the contact information is in the description below. Until next time, I'll see you soon.